All right, guys. Hello. Welcome back. And yes, the title is correct. The title is the truth. I will not be watching Scoob, the newest uh, Scooby-Doo film <clears throat> that before the COVID-19 pandemic was supposed to go direct to theater. It was supposed to be released in theaters worldwide. Theatrical release. The first trailer even, even said that. that wow, Scoob! Finally, an animated movie of us on the big screen because beforehand we've had two theatrically released films in the Scooby-Doo franchise that were live-action films. And this one was supposed to be the first one animated to go to theaters. But things happened. Had to go direct to video. That's not why I'm not watching it because I could easily watch a direct to video. It's because it, it, it's a disservice to people who like me and older people who grew up with Scooby-Doo. The people who grew up with the series from the first TV show back in 1969 up to my age, and I've grown. I grew up with <clears throat> what's new Scooby Doo, and a whole slew of direct to video animated movies, and uh, Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated, uh, Be Cool Scooby Doo, and uh, a currently currently a new show. I've only seen a, a couple episodes of the new show, but it's actually pretty good. It's uh, Scooby Doo Guess Who. It's more in the style of the 1969 show. It looks just like it. Just a, a little more adult humor. That's why it's the first uh, series in the franchise to be given a PG rating. But this new film, Scoob, <clears throat> is like more of a slap in the face to people like me and people who are older than me who love the characters in the uh, Scooby-Doo and the gang. By replacing the core voice actors with more bigger name stars. Zac Efron is Fred Jones. Warner Brothers. Did you all smoke a joint beforehand? I get the fuck off my screen, I'm ranting. Did you did you all smoke a big fat before you started casting this movie? Cause I don't know what the fuck you were thinking. What was going on in your goddamn money grabbing minds? I mean, Matthew Lillard was a perfect replacement for Casey Kasem when Casey Kasem retired from the character and died soon after. <clears throat> Matthew Lillard played Shaggy in the first two theatrically in those, those two films that I went to theater, Scooby Doo, uh, Scooby Doo, and Scooby Doo Two Monsters Unleashed. He has also been the voice of Shaggy since 2010, and these TV shows that have been on and all the directed video films since then. But you recast him. You recast Matthew Lillard, and you didn't even tell him. He had to find out through a casting announcement on Twitter. And you had to replace this guy who's been the voice of Shaggy since 2010 with somebody named his name's Will Forte I've never heard of Will Forte the only thing in the casting that was done right was keeping Frank Welker on as Scooby-Doo because Frank Welker's been playing Scooby since 2002 but he was also the voice of Fred Jones since 1969 in all the animated shows and all the animated movies and except for the for the live action film those first two he was played by Freddie Prince Jr. and I don't like him either <clears throat> but he was also still the voice of Scooby huh. but no for this movie you gotta cast Zac Efron Mr. Oh I was in High School Musical years and years ago on Disney Channel. Yes, I grew up watching Zac Efron and three High School Musical films. He's a former teen idol. He's a former teen heartthrob. And now he's an actor. Just an actor. I haven't seen anything he's done recently. I didn't even know Zac Efron was still acting. I mean, this is a complete disservice, a complete slap in the face, a complete mockery of the Scooby-Doo franchise. Because I, I mean, I'm not mad that it went direct to video. That's not that's neither here nor there. That couldn't be helped. But my problem is, that the casting is horrible, and from what I've read about the plot, it's scrambled. I mean, you've got the the, the Blue Falcon apparently is more of the focal point of the show than the actual Scooby Gang. And it's not even the Blue Falcon, it's the Blue Falcon's son. And you could have at least given, allowed Frank Welker to also voice Dynamut, like he did before. He was also the original voice of Dynamut. 
But no, you also gotta take down on that and make him go from talking like this to being a more smart person with a bigger vocabulary. And I'm sitting here like, Raggy, we got a problem. <laughs> and we do, Scoob, we have a big problem here, and it's Warner Brothers, and they're money, 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 money. Because Scooby Doo is a big property, and they don't give a damn about the fans of the series, otherwise, they would have done this properly. And I'm ashamed of the way that uh, Matthew... We all know Matthew Lillard. He was Stu Mocker in Scream. He's been the voice of Shaggy for years. He's played Shaggy in two feature films. He's been in a, n a number of other things. He's a big actor. And he's even think he's even wanting to come back to Scream if they, when they do Scream 5. Everyone who knows the Scream series knows, Stu, knows him as Stu Mocker. But no, Warner Brothers wanted somebody named Will Forte. I don't know who that man is. <laughs> the only person in the cast I know, aside from Frank Welker as Scooby-Doo, was Zac Efron. I'm 24 years old. I should know these people, but I don't. This film was an attempt to market it at the at a target demographic. People that are younger than me. This was not for the fans. This is for children, because children have a short attention span. No offense to children, but they do. The young ki young children have a short attention span. And from what I've been seeing online, that's what this film is based for. This is not for the old fans. This is not for fans my age. This is nothing more than a pile of... Forgive me, Scooby. Dog shit. And I will not spend close to $40 for something that I'm not going to enjoy. And the people who do, the people who are big fans of Scooby like I am, who did watch it, even they're saying they're angry, they're disappointed, they're ashamed of what Warner Brothers has done. So I will not be watching this movie. I may have reacted to the, to the trailers, because I, I was curious. But I do not approve of this film. At all. I spit on it. I fucking spit on it. How dare you, Warner Brothers?